Okay, let's jump right into what might be one of the most clever, I mean, truly counterintuitive ideas in cancer therapy in a long time. It's a story about taking one of our body's most violent, most aggressive defense mechanisms and turning it from a massive problem into a life-saving weapon. And it all comes down to a really, really smart disguise. So let me just ask you this. What if you could trick your body's most violent defense mechanism into attacking your own cancer? I mean, what if you could paint a giant flashing target on a tumor, a target so obvious, so completely foreign, that your immune system, which, by the way, is already armed and ready to go, would just launch an all-out, no-holds-barred assault against it? We're not talking about teaching it something new. We're talking about unleashing a power it already has. So researchers have this really cool nickname for this approach, the Circe strategy. Now, if you remember your Greek mythology, Circe was the sorceress from the Odyssey who, you know, turned Odysseus's men into pigs. And believe it or not, that is exactly the goal here. It's a bit of biological sorcery to make cancer cells look to our immune system just like pig cells. And the results? Well, honestly, they're just stunning. Okay, so to really get how this new weapon works, we've got to first understand a really old, really powerful enemy. I'm talking about a biological force that's been a major roadblock for medical progress for decades. This enemy, it's called hyperacute rejection. And for years, this has been the number one reason we can't just use pig organs to save human lives. You see, when a pig organ gets transplanted into a person, the immune system doesn't just, you know, attack it. It annihilates it. We're talking minutes to hours, and it's gone. 